Grace and peace to you all. This is your boy, d Light. I was just coming just with a quick word of encouragement and uh, just saying, uh, hey, God is so good all the time. But just want to um, just let you know um, there's a scripture that's been on my heart, and I know it's in James chapter 1. And uh, verse 2 says, it was counted all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing that the trying of your faith work in patience. So guess what? We got to let patience have a perfect work. And just, you know, allow the patience to build up. Amen. And build us up and uh, make us who we are. Because, you know, if we don't go through any trials or any tribulations, guess what? Then we can't get through. So guess what? The only way that we're going to be built up and be ambassadors for Christ and be his warriors and prayer warriors and, and I mean, and, um, you know, just, the, you know, the, the men and women of God that he called us all out to be is that we have to go through some things because guess what? We have to be tried in the fire. And, you know, sometimes when we get tried in the fire, there's times that we have to, um, you know, go through when you've been tried in the fire. It's just like that diamond in the rough. Um, the diamond in the rough that, you know, um, you go through the fire, you get all that dirt and everything burnt out of you and all that, and then you get buffed and shined up. And I mean, you go through so much of a process. But then when it's all said and done, you come out sparkling and you come out with full value. And guess what? We're valuable in God's sight. And um, that's why he allows us to go through things because he knows, you know, what we can bear. He won't put nothing more on you than you can bear. So the thing is, what we got to realize when we go through some things and we got to continue to be joyful in it, we got to continue to rejoice in it. And we got to continue on to, you know, just trust in the Lord wholeheartedly and let him do it. Take our hands off, start trying to do it ourselves and allow God to do the, um, you know, take on the situation. Like I said, now, and this is my scripture. He always gives me to fall back on first Peter five and seven, cast all your cares upon him for he cares for you. And guess what? He'll see you through it. With that being said, this is your boy, uh, D-Light. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. So let's continue to make it a great day. Until we meet again, peace.